Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have our 30 second toppers video and I got an amazing toppers video for y'all today. I want to do a little change up a bit. Also, there's a lot of fun going on at the end of the summer, the last weekend here. I can't believe it, where did the summer go, right? How cliche am I? <laughs> but that's how it is, eh? The summer goes and we gotta do something about it. We gotta eat, that's what we gotta do. So there's a lot going on for the September long weekend and we got to do something about it. We got to eat, like I said. So I thought I'd make our topic today on food because I love it. I love food so much. And so what we have is the top four foodie events uh, for this long weekend in uh, Toronto. So all the info will be in the description below for this. I hope you check out all these events. There's going to be four of them. I'm going to kick it off. It's going to get very, very, very meaty. You know what I mean by that? So let's kick it off. The first one we have is the Burlington Rib Fest, which is Canada's largest rib fest. So it's celebrating its 26th anniversary this year. Canada's largest rib fest is making a triumphant return to Spencer Smith Park this Labor Day weekend. And it's free. Woo! Not the food, obviously, but to get in. Um... So each year, Canada's largest rib fest features award-winning ribbers from all around North America who show off their succulent skills and compete for titles such as best sauce, best ribs, right? Who do you think is going to win it? You got to have to see. So I'm excited to see who's going to win these best sauce or best ribs because that's how you know how good it is, right? That big line. Whoever has the longest line, go to that one. They probably have the best stuff, right? So... The event takes place over Labor Day weekend and provides visitors with a jam-packed, fr family-friendly fun and including musical entertainment, an artisan fair. Is it artisan or artesian? Honestly, I don't know. But someone let me know in the comments. Uh, there's activities for kids and, of course, lots of lots of ribs and mouth-watering meats in general. There's going to be so good there. I even like the pulled porks that they do and that big onion thing. Um, I remember, I can't remember what it's called, but it's so yummy. So we're going to give you the dates and times of this. Friday the 1st, 11 to 11 p.m. Saturday the 2nd, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday the 3rd, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. again. And then Monday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And the venue for this one is Spencer Smith Park um, in Burlington. So for our second foodie event, we have the Brampton Food Truck Festival. So the Canadian Food Truck Festival is expanding itself to Brampton. Thank you so much. Keep bringing it to you know more places in the GTA. We love to see that. So they serve up the best food from the country. And this is a festival. You won't want to miss this. It's so much fun. All the food trucks, all the different types of street foods. It's going to be so much fun. If you love a food truck, this event is for, for sure for you. So definitely you can check this one out as well. I'll give you the dates and times for it. We have Friday the 1st from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., Saturday the 2nd from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m., and then Sunday the 3rd, 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. The venue for this one is 9050 Bramley Road in Brampton. So go out and check them out. So for our third event, we have the Halal Rib Fest in Scarborough. Woo! Let's go. So we got get ready to indulge in the best halal food in Scarborough that they have to offer from juicy ribs and barbecue to innovative street food. Come and experience Scarborough's unique local vendors and flavors. And everything there is 100% halal. So that's amazing. So they say to go and join them for a weekend of family-friendly entertainment, shopping, and exciting activities for all ages. Connect with your community and experience the vibrant culture and traditions that make halal food so special. The dates and the times for this, we got Friday the 1st from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. We have Saturday the 2nd, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday the 3rd, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And then Monday the 4th, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. The venue for this one is 40 Bushby Drive in Scarborough, Ontario. Go check them out. And last but not least, we have the Hot and Spicy Festival. So this is not just a food event. It has many more other things that, you know, to do and to see there. But it does have lots of yummy food and a lot of different things going on with food. So I wanted to also include this as well. Because who doesn't like a nice and hot and spicy food, right? So they say spice things up 
on the waterfront this summer, H Harborfront Center presents Hot and Spicy India, bringing India's exceptionally diverse artistic, culinary, and cultural vibrancy to Toronto. I love this. Woo! So they have food demonstrations. I'll name a few of them. They have the East Meets West. They have the sweet and sweet, spicy and sublime, and they have a cooking with millets. So I'm not sure what a millet is, but if someone want to let me know in the comments below, I'd appreciate that. They also have food competitions. Who doesn't love a nice food competition? They have one of them is the chai and snack competition. And they also then have a panel discussion called Mighty Millets. So that's really cool too. Who doesn't like to talk about food, right? Or hear people talk about food. So the dates and times for this one, Friday the 1st from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday the 2nd, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday the 3rd, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And then Monday the 4th, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. The venue for this one is Harborfront Center on Queens Key West in Toronto. You know where it is. Um, if you want more information on this one, definitely check out the Harborfront uh, Center website online. They'll have more information there. So I just want to list the four amazing foodie events uh, again for the September long weekend, Labor Day weekend. The first one we had was the Burlington Rib Fest, which is Canada's largest rib fest. There's going to be so much great stuff going on there. So much you get to see who has the best sauce, who has the best ribs, and it's just going to be a great time. There's more to do than just food, but I'm just talking about food today. We also have the Brampton Food Truck Festival. If you love street food, if you love food trucks, grabbing in a little of this, grabbing a little bit of that, some fries from here, some meat from here, some you know fun desserts from there, this is definitely for you. Go and check them out there in Brampton. Our third foodie event is the Halal Rib Fest in Scarborough. They're, it's 100% halal and they're gonna have so many great um, uh, food there. It's gonna be such a great event. Remember to get your tickets for this. Um, you can get them online, I believe, and also at the door. So definitely have the tickets before you go. And uh, it's in Scarborough, Ontario. And then last but not least, again, we got the Hot and Spicy Festival. There's way more things going on than just the food there. I'm speaking about the food. They got food demonstrations. They have food competitions, panel discussions. You don't want to miss this one. And it's right at the harbor front, right by the water. Beautiful. It's a great way to end up the summer with some great spicy food. Who doesn't love hot and spicy? It's honestly, I'm pretty sure it's healthy for you too, right? So definitely want to go and check it out. Um, those are our four amazing foodie events for the September long weekend. So, so everyone, thank you so much again for watching today's Toppers video on the top four foodie events uh, for the September long weekend, the Labor Day weekend in the GTA. All the info for this will be in the description below. And remember to check out the clip for this on Tuesday at 3 p.m. And all I can ask is just please like and subscribe to my channel. I uh, really, really do appreciate it. The channel's Good Times Media. If you're watching this, I'm hoping you're subscribing right now. The button, I believe, is right there <laughs> to go and uh, subscribe. So thank you so much. Have a great weekend full of fun. You know you have that extra day off so we can have lots of fun. Enjoy yourself. Please be responsible, and I'm sending out a lot of positive energy for everybody. Kick off the ending of the summer. Have a great day, everybody.